The very first place that I would look is in the view DBA Golden Gate support mode. It has a list of all the objects in the database that can be replicated with Golden Gate. There is also a column called support mode, which has detailed information about the support level that you can get from Golden Gate on that specific object. In this example here, it can be full or ID key. But what does that actually mean? If the support mode is full, all is good. All the data in that table can be replicated to another database. If the value is ID key, it means that the key column can be replicated along with some of the columns. If it says PL SQL, it means that you need to enable procedural supplemental logging on the database in order for this object to be covered. And in very rare cases, it'll say internal or none. If you hit objects with that support mode, there is really nothing you can do. It's not supported with Golden Gate. But in most situations, that is not the case. You should have a very exotic setup in order to find objects that are not supported in any way with Golden Gate. So what was the problems with the objects uh, in my database? It is a 12.2 database. And we can see here that four of the objects has support mode set to ID key. How can I find I found, sorry, how can I find out what the actual problem is? Well, there is no easy answer in 12.2. You would need to look in the documentation, find the restrictions and limitation of Golden Gate and compare that with the object itself. In this case, I could see that it, the problem was identity columns. Because the database is 12.2, they are not supported by Golden Gate yet. Only when the database reaches 18C are identity columns fully supported. But you need to do some digging. Unless you are on Oracle Database 21. Because in 21, we made a really cool enhancement to that view. We added an additional column called description. And for each of the objects, where the support mode is not full, the database, the database will provide a description of what is actually wrong with this object in order for it to be fully supported with Golden Gate. Also, something that I need to be aware of is that for optimal performance of the replication, all the tables in my database should have primary keys or unique keys. If there is a table without a primary key or no unique keys, you can still replicate data. But what Golden Gate will do is that it will form a surrogate key of all the columns in the table that are less than 4,000 bytes and use that as a key. Most likely, you don't have a matching index on the target database with all those columns, meaning that for the replication to find the records of interest, it will need to full scan the table every time there is a change. And this can really hurt the replication performance. There is a view in the database called DBA Golden Gate Not Unique, which lists all the objects that doesn't have a proper primary key or unique key constraint. In some situations, the database uh, is not enforcing uniqueness, but it is the application that is enforcing uniqueness. In some situations, we see that with third-party applications, there is some external process that are taking care of the uniqueness of the data in that table. But for some reason, it is not being reflected on the database with a proper primary key or unique key constraint. In those situations where uniqueness is handled outside of the database, you can still tell Golden Gate to use that information to get a smaller key. You can use the key calls clause to say that instead of all the columns being the key, it is column two, three, and four. It's very handy in that situation. Another good way to determine the readiness of my database is to use a Golden Gate health check. You can use it to get a sanity check of the database and to ensure that key performance parameters are set at an adequate value. You can also look at the database characteristics and statistics of the extract and replication process and just overall get an idea of the database readiness. It's very easy to run a Golden Gate health check. Simply log on to the Golden Gate, Golden Gate host itself 
And then in the file system, there is a set of scripts that you can use depending on which database version that you want to run it in. Simply run the script first to install some auxiliary objects and then run the health check. After that, you can then remove those objects again. Very simple, but it gives you a very good idea of how that database will work with Oracle Golden Gate. 